Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Caitlin for those of you that are new here and if you're not, welcome back. Thank you so much for being here. Cook with me video and today it's this delicious bowl. It's super duper easy. It's something that I've been making for the last couple of weeks and it kind of reminds me of baked apples but easier and healthier. Sauteed Honeycrisp apples and different kind of variations or different, um, what are they called? La 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 words. Species? <laughs> types? Different types of pears because they're different colors. Anyways, it's sauteed apples, sauteed pears with water and then use some really delicious fall flavors. Today's video is going to be short and sweet because I'm hungry and I really want to eat. I'm going to eat this right after I film it. Lacey, Lacey. If you're interested in cooking with me and seeing how I got this yummy little bowl, then just keep watching. I have a Honeycrisp apple, and then I'm going to be using three pears. I'm going to cut those up into small little bite-sized pieces, and then put them on a pan, which I'm just going to saute them up with a little bit of water. You can use coconut oil if you want, but for me, I don't really think it needs it. Oh, there's something in my eyeball. I think water works just fine, cooking them down and making them a little bit easier on digestion as opposed to eating raw fruit. So that can be really helpful. Sometimes for me, when I'll have raw fruit, I get indigestions. When I cook them down, I find that it's just easier on my body. So I'm going to cut those up, get a little knife. How do I zoom? Whoa. Pears are so satisfying to cut. They're so easy breezy. And I can appreciate all the different colors. That always makes me happy too. I'm grabbing a medium sized pan. I'm just putting a little bit of water in there. I do find that as the fruit starts to cook down, that kind of releases a little bit of the moisture. So just a little bit of water, that way it doesn't burn and stick in the pan. I popped that on a high heat and I'm gonna take this and just dump it in there. The fun part is really the spices. That's where we're getting a little more seasonal. I'm going to grab cinnamon, give that quite a generous coating. Pumpkin pie spice, I'm going to mimic that. Ginger would be the lightest of everything. Perfect. And then I'm just grabbing a wooden spoon and I'm going to mix that around, coating everything evenly with the spices that we just used. The pears are already quite soft. The apples are really what take a little bit longer, but really it's a couple of minutes and this is done, good to go. For a little bit of sweetness, maple syrup. This is 100% pure, nothing added. I'm going to drizzle that over top. It's about a tablespoon, tablespoon and a half of the maple syrup. And then again, just mixing everything up, trying to get everything covered. And then we'll just leave that to simmer for a couple of minutes. It smells like so good in here right now, I can barely stand it. I'm just wanting a little more of this liquid to cook out, and then we're good to plate it. I'll add in some toppings after we plate it, and then we're good to max. Mm, it smells like fall, it's so good. And you know, I'm even surprised that I like this so much because I'm not a big like pumpkin person. Pumpkin spice, it's just not for me, it's not really my thing, but this is just, it's just so good. I'll do a little bowl because there, you know, is some liquid that's left in there just so you don't make a mess. And that was in the pan no longer than five minutes. If you do find that it's starting to stick, super easy solution, just add a little more water. Baked apples, but um, high a lot faster and easier and just as good. Now over top, I mean, like, were you even surprised, really? Give that a stir, mix what's separated. Peanut butter from Trader Joe's that is crunchy and unsalted. By the way, these apples from Trader Joe's, they're so good, the Honeycrisp ones. Okay, and then we'll go in with one more and tuck that in there. Toppings, <laughs> it's whatever's to your liking, but what I'm going to go in with today, if it's only one that you're going to do, I would say hit the cacao nibs because it's just really yummy and it gives a nice crunch. I'm also going to add a handful of walnuts. Okay. For some color contrast, goji berries, unsweetened coconut chips. No, coconut 
flakes. Ground flax meal, which I just grabbed out of the fridge. I'm just taking a little spoonful. I'm going to take that around the side. And that's it, you guys. That's the meal. And I promise you, it's just so easy, so delicious. It's just so good, all right? Yeah, I think that's all that I have for you today. This was really quick and easy. I filmed this in less than 20 minutes, so. Tell us in here. The fun part, for one, is the spices, but you guys, look at this spice rack that we got. We've alphabetized it. Hi, your A's are up here. Oh, pumpkin pie spice? Yeah. You're easy to find because you're in alphabetical order. What do we have here? Turmeric with the teas. It's just so good. We have some dried fruit down there. This is totally just a sidestep, but it's just really a game changer when your life is organized. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? I'm surely sweating after all that hard work. So let's give this a little scoot, scoot the boots, a little mix. Ugh, it just smells so good. And Mm, 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 mm. I'm telling you, I'm just telling you without actually saying anything because it's so easy and so good. I hope that you guys enjoy if you make this. Also, is it weird that I'm already thinking about putting up my Christmas tree? I just texted Kevin on the way home and said, I think I'm going to put up my Christmas tree on Halloween considering it's supposed to snow. All right, you guys, that's all that I have for you today. If you enjoyed this video, then please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I upload videos every Thursday and hope to see you guys in my next video. Thank you so very much for being here. Be kind to yourself and be kind to others and I will see you guys soon. Bye. Little bite-sized pieces. Bite-sized pieces. We've alphabet... <laughs>